Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer for Saturday the 10th of July. As we start, let's just remember that God calls us to rest. For Jews, Sabbath, Saturday was their Sabbath. Let's say together, let's uh, bring our thirst, maybe our tiredness to God. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone will my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. I want you more than gold or silver. Only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. You're my friend and you are my father, even though you are my king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. So take your longings uh, to God and let him refresh you. Perhaps breathe in deeply, imagining him filling you afresh with his spirit. Breathe out hassles or worries. Breathe in again. Perhaps imagine the prodigal son returning home, the father's hug, the robe around his shoulders, the ring on his finger, the sandals on his feet, the feast, the joy. So look back at the past 24 hours and give thanks for what has been good. I'm delighted to get some uh, boring paperwork done. Uh, I think I've made good progress with my sermon for Sunday and I'm looking forward to going to St Philip's. And I just had a lovely meeting with a wedding, wedding couple. Pray for God's healing and God's way forward now for anything that's made you sad. For me particularly, I'm concerned, well, about the coronavirus, the way the numbers keep going up. For those in the NHS and the care sector. For those on our hearts this day. especially for Paul and Dawn Mellors. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we do cry to you particularly for good leadership at this time, for good advice for Boris Johnson and the rest of the government, for wisdom for them to know how to apply it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we rejoice that you call us to be your children, to be part of an amazing family. We thank you for all our local churches. We pray for our worship and fellowship this Sunday and every day. For wisdom in opening up for those who feel nervous about coming to church again. For our relationships with children and young families, while so much of our children's work and all age work has had to stop. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. So consider the day ahead of you. You're looking forward to and what worries you. I need to finish getting ready for uh, Sunday and for a church council meeting next week. I'm also uh, well, looking forward to rest on Sunday afternoon and seeing my dad and his wife on Monday. Let's offer to God what we can and trust him to provide what we need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light upon our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all people in the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Continuing to read from Exodus. Remembering how Moses had been rejected by the Israelites. Who did he think he was trying to boss them and stop them fighting with each other? So he'd fled. From the arrogance, he'd been broken, but God now came to rebuild so he could be a blessing. Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I'll go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he'd gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses says, here I am not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face, because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey the home of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites and Jebusites. And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people of, out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Moses had been broken. He'd been rejected by the Israelites. From the arrogance, he knew he was ordinary. He felt he could do nothing. So he responds, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? And I don't know whether you noticed, 
but Moses, but God didn't say anything, if you like, to answer the question. Because it wasn't who Moses was that was important. What was important that God goes with him? I've had moments uh, when I thought, oh, I'm a wonderful preacher. I'm the greatest. Well, not the greatest. I've never been quite that arrogant, but I thought I was good. At other times, I felt I'm hopeless as a vicar. The truth is that it is God who takes what we can give and does extraordinary things. Because God is with each one of us. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one, and one in three, of whom all nature hath creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. I bind unto myself today the power of God to hold and lead, his eye to watch, his might to stay, his ear to hearken to my need. The wisdom of my God to teach, his hands to guide, his shields to ward, the word of God to give me speech, his heavenly host to be my guard. So may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and the love of God, of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Thank you for praying with me uh, and for me. Um, I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.